Okay, training field. Train up units to improve combat ability and R&D. Okay, I think, I, I'm sorry if this is getting a bit boring, but we need to do this sort of stuff just to get the ball rolling. Welcome to your worst nightmare. I'm the guy who's going to whip you lazy blobs into shape. Ooh. Still, I can't work miracles here. No amount of drilling beats real combat experience. I want you all to go out there, kick some imp tail, and then show me what you love. I will train that experience into something you can actually use. Level you bums up. Hmm, I've always wanted a higher level bum. Don't go trying to hog all the glory. A squad's a team and we got no need for stars. Stars. You will train as a class and level up by class. Scout level two, scout level three. You get it? Ah, we have been visited by the great and powerful ex Sim Sugar. Hello. When the scouts level up, that means each and every one of them goes up that level. Or else. You hear me, maggots? Any of you think he's better than the rest of the team? Go home now. All right. Now I'll show you lowlights how this whole thing actually works. It ain't complicated. First, you go out there and fight. Then divvy up that experience here. No, that, that's that's wrong. Okay, first you watch three cutscenes, then you fight, then you come back here and divvy up the experience. Once the experience you cram into a soldier class clears a set amount, it'll level up. Picking which class to level up and when is your job as the squad leader. Now give it a go. Train all you want. I've got all day. Okay. So we can... Okay, we can level up our people. Engineers are quite cheap to level up. Shock troopers are the most expensive. Oh right, okay, so do 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 Okay, alright, okay. This is a little bit weird, so if I want to just give a bit to the to Lancers and I'm gonna give some there we can use that tomorrow and I would I think to be totally honest with you, let's just drag all this over to the right, let's give everyone a level means absolutely nothing to me so am I sure no idea I got no use for tears sweat 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 I got no use for acting classes right okay so everyone's Go now to level maggots. two you're one level closer to human Session beat a new potential out of the Lancers. Looks like that session beat a new potential. Okay, I'm getting the feeling I'm probably going to want to kill him fairly soon. We got 660 experience points. Let's just level up the engineers. Don't know if it's any good, don't particularly care. No pain, no gain. Work, maggots. You're one level closer to human. Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order. Put it to good use out there. All right. You've learned defense boost. This order raises one ally's defense. Okay, I think we're done here. We've got 79 experience left. Got it. That's how training by class works. Now get out there and rack up some experience. Okay. Oh. And there's one more thing to add. Sometimes leveling up a unit class will unlock a hidden potential in them. You can think of potentials as the natural abilities your soldiers have inside yeah, them. Yes, so did I, actually. Those abilities will form a big part of your strength in the field. So keep them in mind. Other times, leveling up a class will earn you clearance for a new order. Here, as long as we're talking about it, I'll teach you a classic, a real golden oldie. 
Right, you've earned evade boost. This order raises one ally's evasion skills. I have no idea how to use these orders, orders yet. Special commands you can give out as the squad leader. They can save your tail. What about the rest of me? It doesn't take a genius to see that leveling up your soldiers is the best way to beef up your squad. Yes. And it appears that I've got a chat full of gullens. Yay! The soldiers will get stronger, and you just might unlock new potentials and orders. All that just from me working you sorry bums into the dirt. I just hope you maggots are ready for a real workout the next time I see you here. No. To be totally honest with you, if it was a woman with the tail, it's probably the last thing I'd be thinking about, to be honest. But, uh, never mind. R&D. R&D. Welcome to R&D, man. What can I do you for? Ah. Uh, yes, perhaps you could go back to California. Huh? Wait, I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? Whoa, dude! I knew it! Man, I've heard about you! That evacuation at Brule was just... Wow! Protecting a tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter? Man! Man! <laughs> okay, right. Let's let's work out how long lag is. Somebody type something in now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, four, four and a half, four and a half seconds, as opposed to twenty-five minutes on average on Twitch. Yeah, I can live with that. Okay. Oh, Lieutenant, you're good people. You get all my respect and then some, bro. What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Yeah, I mean, oh, that, well, Casey, that sort of orgasm isn't quiet. Gunther! He's the man, man! <laughs> Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time. But where are my manners? I'm Kreese Cherney. I'm training here as a mechanic. Oh, oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. That's what I'm worried about. So, Lieutenant Gunther. What brings you down to R&D today? We do work here on weapons development, making upgraded weapons and equipment. And that includes rifles and machine guns. We can even soup up your tank. I don't want a tank full of soup. Of course, research expenses aren't cheap. With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass produce new models as they're developed. You won't have to worry about making enough for your squad. We'll outfit them. For tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its specs. I've got to be honest with you, okay? The beam has its problems, but it's because it's new. This is... This is still... Uh, head and shoulders over, over Twitch, where it's working. And I'm sure they will get the other bits going soon as well, so I'm happy. Right. You can choose which optional parts you want in the tank equipment section. Come in any time and make adjustments based on the needs of the operation at hand. I think one of those guys needs to go for a cigarette now. Development work on tanks happens in the form of body enhancements, tread and weak point improvements, and attack support. Body enhancements mostly reinforce the gun barrel and body armor to improve its base stats. Tanks will automatically be given the best body type you have developed. You decide whether to favor attack or defense, and altering body types gives your tank a different outward appearance. Improvements to the treads and weak point can, and attack support take the form of parts that can be added to tanks to enhance their abilities. Each part has a set size in blocks, so it appears that I, our tank can be ribbed for extra pleasure. You decide how to fill the 4x3 block storage capacity in the Edelweiss. Pick you the optional parts that best fit your own personal combat style. Can we play Minecraft now? <laughs> oh dear. Alright, um... Let's develop some weapons. Rifles, and tank lances, blast suits, and the Edelweiss. Okay, well... Let's give these people a bit of a... A uniform upgrade will cost 500 ducats. It's 
done. This one's perfect, bro. Okay. And we can't do the other upgrade yet. But, uh, let's, yeah, let's update the armor, let's update that armor as well. There we go. Here you go, bro. All done. Okay. <laughs> this one's perfect. I made it in five seconds. Um, machine guns that, yep. Yeah. So we can get a one point improve in, improvement in damage. One, uh, I suppose we might as well do it. All set for you, bro. It's done. All right, let's up these. At least that one's a bit of a jump. Whew. Right. Okay. Let's get out of that. Outfit the tank. Now we have 82 millimeter anti armor. No aunt will get through this. <laughs> um, change parts. Do we actually have any? No, we don't have any parts to change into yet, do we? All right. Okay. So develop weapons. Look at some stuff for the Edelweiss. Body enhancements. Reinforced barrel one. Reinforced armor one. That will take all the money. Let's do it. Here you go, bro. Oh, they are going to get annoying very fast. Those cutscenes, aren't they? All set. For right. Okay, so we can now outfit the tank, I should imagine. Change parts. No. They automatically happen, do they? Yeah, okay. They automatically happen, I'm presuming here. Right, okay, let's get out of this. I've had enough of this, to be honest with you. Right. Well, sir, was that help? We're working here around the clock to make possible tomorrow what's out of reach today. Fortunately, they put the clock on the floor because if it was on the wall, they used to fall off it. Come again a little later. We'll do our best to have something useful for you by then. Yeah, you better come back soon, bro. I am all fired up to work on stuff for you. I was worrying. Just out of curiosity, when I ever play XCOM, I've been playing XCOM since the beginning. I love that game. Book mode. Fuck. None. That's all natural, bit late. The headquarters tab is now available. About headquarters. That place where you have been. We're now going to tell you what it was. Thank you very much. Open the menu with the F button. Pick headquarters from the tab. Select menu. Okay. Right. I never thought I was going to say this. Let's watch a cutscene. Um, I used to put Xenonauts up on the voting rotation, but nobody ever voted for it. And Xenonauts is basically XCOM updated. There you are. I've been looking for you. Mm. Must not have naughty thoughts about sister. Hey, Ys. How'd your enlistment go? No problems? I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic. I'll put it back on the voting rotation, Shizzy. If you guys like it, vote for it. Maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on. I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together. I think so too. So what are you up to now? The tank's hangar space is just through here. I was just carrying some ragnite fuel back. 
Hello, Melody. What have I done to insult you now? And also for the turret mounted cannon rounds. I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is Ragnite powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. Not enough of it for some people, though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Gallian soil. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. And what's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. Another hand-me-down. I gave it a once-over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. I didn't mean... I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. Thank you for this, Ace. I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now, to make sure it's ready to go at any time. <laughs> All right, we'll get going for now then. Somewhere in the world of Magical Diaries, Professor Grabner sits up in the bed, sweat dripping from his face, thinking, I found a great disturbance in the Force. Right, okay. Alright, I think, I think, I think we're actually going to do something now. We're doomed, but I think we're actually going to do something now. Let's sound out. What to do this episode? I'll cut to the chase. Here's your mission. The Great Vassal Bridge was just taken by the Empire. It's a key strategic position. The Great Vassal Bridge? It's a major drawbridge crossing the canal in Vassal, just outside the capital. It's, it's not that great if he hasn't heard about it and he lived down the road. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That bridge is a part of the central transit artery, leading into Randgreeze. Our mission is to take it back. Bob, I think. Right, mission one. Oh, up against all the tanks. All of them. Every single one. Oh dear. The Empire has been running a blitz, with their shock troops outrunning their defense. Our 3rd Regiment will retake the bridge before defensive reinforcements can arrive. How quaint! The militia holding a little strategy meeting of its own! How long were you planning on hiding out in here, Verat? You really need to do something about those piles, mate. My apologies, sir. We'll depart soon. Whatever. They're just country mice. It's not like there'll be much help. More help, perhaps, than your army unit that couldn't hold the bridge in the first place. Hey! Regardless, Vassal remains a critical position. We'll reclaim it immediately. Well, all good. See that you do. <laughs> Who is General Damon, commander of the Central Forces? As opposed to General Damien, commander of the forces right behind you. Central Forces? That's the army branch the militia was folded into, right? That's right. They say the general's an aristocrat. He looks down on the common militia. Well, I mean, if it's foldable, it's not a proper army, really, is it? That doesn't make any sense. Right. Now that the war's begun, we all need to band together and fight to keep Gallia safe. Who cares at this point whether you're in the army or the militia? It's ridiculous. Gentlemen, let's return to the mission. We'll begin by taking back the Western Bank to gain a foothold for reclaiming the bridge. Lieutenant Gunther. I'm assigning Squad 7 to this mission. 
It's your first maneuver, so be smart. Yes, Captain. The other squads are on patrol. Stay sharp, and be ready to help take back the bridge. I'm counting on all of you out there. Now move out. Right. Okay, now. The Skirmishes tab is now available. About Skirmishes! Unlike those within the main storyline, the battles found under the Skirmishes tab can be played a number of times. Perfect for its massing experience and research fees. Try them when you're feeling underpowered. Press a the F button to open the menu, then choose Skirmishes from the tab blah -de blah New Skirmishes are added as you progress through the main plot, and the difficulty of each Skirmish can be set freely. Just be careful, though not a plot battle, soldiers lost during the skirmishes can still die. Okay. New skirmish battle has been added. Alright, okay, I'm saving the game because I have no way I want to do all that again. Right, save. Overwrite. Right. <laughs> is it weird that I giggled a bit when Welkins said it doesn't make any sense after Simon made his bad joke how dare you say my jokes are bad how dare you it might be true but it's still how dare you right let's do something here are details on the current operation Right, the Imperial Force is deployed in a defensive position around a camp within Vassal's urban centre. You will assign your squad positions split between a city team and a riverside team. The city team will protect the base camp while the riverside team strikes the enemy. The objective is to occupy the enemy's camp. Defeat the enemy units defending the camp, then get the flag hung above their camp to occupy it. Beginning with this operation, you will be responsible for assigning your soldiers to their combat positions. Before commencing the operation, choose the position units command to view a list of your deployable units. Then, once you've accepted a unit you'd like to deploy, choose the position you wish them to take. Intelligence reports say that they have tanks stationed in the city area. Yeah! It would behoove you to include an anti-tank unit on the city team to facilitate its neutralization. I would also recommend you add units with high AP such as scouts and engineers to your Riverside Strike Force. Once you've got your teams in place, select the Deploy command to begin the operation. Yes, behoove! Such a good word. Now it's time to get your soldiers, those soldiers of yours into position. Okay, so... Once again, we've got to do this within 20 turns. We've got to protect our base, keep at least one soldier alive, and we win if the enemy base camp is captured. So, right, we can actually, what? Right, so one to five is already, okay, I see where this is going, right. Position units. Okay, so we already have one person there. And that is probably Largo, isn't it? Alright, so... I'm thinking if we put in... Uh, yeah, let's, let's put in the other the other guy and we'll have a sniper there as well Oscar can go there and we'll just fill the rest of that up with stormtroopers shall we let's have him there and him there okay so no idea if that's any good let's find out all oh, right we can get their details that's good all right so got five or five people there and we can put a couple more people in here so um so we've got one scout already and we've got one shock trooper already i'm thinking another shock trooper to all round that out a lot let's take um let's see metalhead claustrophobic 
Oh, it's Alex I wanted, who's a neat freak, a scout, killer, and has night vision. Let's take Alex. There we go. And Alex can go there. Right. Is there an after party tonight? Yes, I've got to, I've got to keep um, Laura awake so she can uh, watch, uh, so she can download her Sims at midnight. So yeah, I'll probably be doing something afterwards. And, oh, good lord, it's half past eight already. Um, we've got about an hour and a half left. Okay, so we're done there. Let's deploy. Actually, ready to deploy. Deploy. Prepared to commence the operation. I look forward to good news from you.